Welcome to the screencast in which we will show you how to manage your cloud with Open Nebula's Sunstone web interface. The first step is to navigate to the address where your Sunstone service is running. This is Sunstone's login screen. You will be prompted for your Open Nebula username and password. Here we have the dashboard. The dashboard provides an overview of the status of your cloud and quick links to basic management operations. The summary of resources shows us how many resources of each kind we have and their current status. The quick search section provides a convenient way to create new resources on the fly. The historical monitoring information section displays graphs of monitoring information collected by the one ACCTD component of Open Nebula. These graphs give a visual indication of the cloud's performance. Here we can see the total CPU usage of the hosts, their memory usage, the total VM count, and network use statistics. In the Hosts tab, we can see detailed information about the hosts. To see information about the host Cloud01, we can simply click on it and its detailed information will appear. In the Host Information section, we can see its general attributes. The Host Template section shows all of the attributes and probes defined for this host, which are gathered dynamically. For instance, the hypervisor this host is running is KVM. And in the Monitoring Information section, we can see CPU and memory usage graphs for this host. Similarly, the Virtual Network tab shows detailed information on all the virtual networks. This is a good place to see the IP and MAC addresses assigned to this network and if they are in use by a virtual machine. The Images tab shows a list of all the images available. Here you will be able to create, enable, disable, and delete your images, and even manage their persistence and publicity in a user-friendly way. We can also see specific information for each registered image. To create a new image, we click on the New button. We provide a name and a description for this image. We can leave the other options as they are, but we must provide a path to the image file. The image's status will be locked until the image file has finished copying to the Open Nebula image repository. Since this is a very small image, it doesn't take long for it to be ready. The template tab displays a list of all the templates. Virtual machines are defined with template definition files. The template repository system allows Open Nebula administrators and users to register virtual machine definitions in the system to be instantiated later as virtual machine instances. These templates can be instantiated several times and also shared with other users. As with the other tabs, we can inspect the details of a specific template. To create a new template, we click on the New button. This form allows us to set all of the possible parameters that can be defined for a virtual machine. We provide a name for the template and memory and CPU information. Under the Add Disk Images section, we can select the image that we have just registered, TTY Linux. In the Setup Network section, we add a network to the virtual machine, in this case, Private LAN. A very useful feature that we'll use later on is to activate VNC so we can access the virtual machine. We can set the listen IP to 0.0.0.0 to be able to connect from any network interface to the VNC port. To start the virtual machines, we need to instantiate them. To do this, we select the template and click on the Instantiate button. We can see the virtual machines we have just instantiated. If we click on one of them, we can inspect the template information and verify that it is indeed using the TTY Linux image. To access the virtual machine console, we click on the VNC icon. We can interact with a virtual machine normally. If config will show us that the network is properly configured. The virtual machine has access to other machines in the same network. The 
virtual machine that we have instantiated is using the Windows XP image. We can access the virtual machine log in the VM log section. In the monitoring information section we can see CPU, memory, and network usage information for this specific virtual machine. As with the other virtual machine, we can access this one by clicking on the VNC icon. This fully functional Windows XP virtual machine is ready to be accessed by remote desktop connection and used normally. Back in the dashboard we can see all the changes we have made. For example, we see a total of two virtual machines and both of them are running. With Open Nebula and Sunstone, managing virtual resources and deploying clouds is as easy as you have just seen. Download Open Nebula from opennebula.org and start using it today.